Hey everyone, I'm back and welcome to a how to web flow. So for this first one, Sani writes, could you please make a video on how to create a pop-up modal when a visitor clicks on a button? Member stack has some beautiful full screen pop-up modals, but I don't know how to integrate it in all my CTA buttons for navbar, CTA, header CTA, etc. Okay, Sani, I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, custom modal, here we go. So let's go ahead and we'll make three different custom modals and we'll put them in a nav bar. Okay, so we have this nav bar and this will be modal one. This will open up modal two. This will open up modal three. Okay. So now that we have our links, okay, these are the links. These are going to be the trigger. So when I click on this, make the modal show up. Okay, so since I have that already done, let's go ahead to the next part. I'm going to drag in a div block, and this is going to be the actual modal. Okay, so I'm going to call this modal, and let's make sure that it's on top of everything. So I'm going to set this to fixed full and let's put it top of everything by making the Z index like five five nines okay so it's on top of everything including the nav bar and we can tell it's on top of everything if I give it a background color of black but 75% on the alpha okay cool that one's done now let's go ahead and add the content inside all right, so I'm going to click on flex, center, center, because I want to put it whatever the modal stuff is, the modal content, I want it to be in the exact center. Okay, so let's go ahead and drag that in, give it another div block, and this is going to be modal content. All right, now I want this to expand, but I don't want to expand all the way. Okay, so here's a little trick. I'm going to do max width of, say, um, 550 pixels, and then I want to expand it. And there we go. All right. See how I can't uh, mess with this? So I can mess with it when it's shrunk, but I can't mess with it when I do that. So there's a little trick. All right. All right, now it's just up to you to style it. I'm going to give this a background color of white. Let's round out the border a bit give some padding around the whole thing say 20 and now you can do whatever you want with this okay like for example putting in a form let's put a form here right that's what usually happens uh, I'm gonna set this form to zero so bottom margin is zero instead of 15 and there we go that's a basic model right there now here's another trick okay um we want to add a close button. You always have to have a close button. Okay. If someone can't close this, then it just gets annoying, right? So here we go. What I'm going to do with the modal content is I'm going to set this to relative. Okay. And then I'm going to add a text. Actually, yeah, a, a text link. I'm going to add it here. And this is what I'm going to call a uh, close modal. And I'm going to set this as absolute, put it to the top right. And now I'm going to go negative 25 pixels from the top and then negative 25 pixels on the right. And we'll color this white, no underline and now I can use an X, you know, just typing the letter X for the close and that looks okay. But you know what looks better? If I look for ASCII multiply and I copy it, that X looks way much better. You'll see why. Boom. Like all this all the all the lines are equal, you know? So let's go ahead and make that bigger. Say one, yeah, something like that. Okay, cool. And let's push this up a bit more. 
say 40 by 40. There we go. Cool. So that's done. Uh, yeah. So we're done with making our modal. Now we set our interactions. We set our triggers. Okay. So let's do this. When I click on this modal, close modal, I'm going to set an element trigger of mouse click, start animation, call it close modal, and this modal content right here, actually this whole modal right here, let's go ahead and set that opacity to go to zero, and then right after zero, it's going to display none. So it does this thing. Okay. Now that opacity is happening way too slow. So I'm going to do it a little bit faster by setting the duration by 0.2 seconds. There we go. So something like that. Okay. So if we preview it, click, the modal's gone. All right. Awesome. All right. So let's go ahead and close out of that, close out of that. Okay. Now for this modal, I can't access these links right here because this modal is on top of everything. So I'm going to turn it off. Display none. Okay, cool. Now let's open the modal. So this one is going to open up that modal. I'm going to do that by setting a new interaction. Mouse click, start animation. I'm going to call this one open modal. Then I'm going to select the modal element and I'm going to set the hide and show to block. Actually, no, sorry, to flex. And also I'm going to set the opacity to zero. And then I'm going to set the opacity to 100% with a duration of 0.2 so it's going to look like this oops let's fix that notice how it flashes that's because i don't have a initial state so i'm going to set the initial state of this to be zero percent there we go okay so what this means is when the page first loads it's going to have have it at zero percent also, this modal is already display none, okay? And so after 0%, set the hide show to display flex. And then do the animation to set the opacity to 100, right? So let's test it. And there we go. All right. Uh, let me try one more thing. Now, of course, this is a nice way to close a modal, but you know what's nicer and a better UX? If someone clicks anywhere here, okay? So let me try and add that same close animation to this. Okay, let's click on that. There we go, click on that. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That doesn't work. All right, you know what? Let's go fix this. I'm going to remove the mouse click and let's go ahead and add a new close. Okay. I'm going to add a new close element. So let's drag in a div block inside of the modal. I'm going to call it close BG, actually close modal BG. Set this to position absolute full. And yeah, nothing. I don't want anything inside of it. That's all I want. Then this modal content, I want to make sure that 
it's Z index one. So that way this has a higher layer number than this, okay? So if I click anywhere here, it won't close the modal. But if I click this or this, then it will. All right, so let's go ahead and set the element trigger click to the close modal background. Let's test it. Yep, there we go. It works. All right. Cool. So that's how you do that modal. All right. Now, someone on the Facebook group also said, uh, hey, how do you do a side one? All right. Really simple. Okay. So let's take this modal and close it. Okay. And I'm going to copy and paste. Oh, not close. Display hide. Or display none. So I copy and paste, and now we have another modal, but this one I'm going to duplicate the duplicate the class and call it modal2. And let's go ahead and set this to display block. And someone said, how do you do a side one? Easy. Just set the positioning to the side. And style it accordingly. And let's go ahead and, you know what? Yeah, flex. Okay. Now I notice that this one... Now, we notice that this wouldn't work in this situation. It wouldn't work over here. Okay. So, what I need to do is for this close modal, I need to, let's see if I move it up. Nope. Let's undo that. I need to move it to the top right of this modal right here. There we go. So, this is targeting modal two now. And so now I want to push it away from the top, say 10 pixels, and from the right, 10 pixels. So something like that. Okay. And it looks like this close modal BG is only when you click inside of here. So let's see here. How am I going to fix this? What if I set this to fixed? There we go. I want this to be the whole page. So that way, this modal right here, I don't want that to have color. I want the closed modal BG to have a color. Okay. And yeah, we can set this height to be 100%, oh, nope, 90%, there we go. So say you want a sidebar, there you go, you have your sidebar right there. But if someone clicks anywhere here in the other area, then the sidebar will close. Wait, this doesn't look right. Let's fix this. This one should have been 75, so it looks like that, but this closed modal BG has nothing there. So something like that. So if someone clicks anywhere here or the X, then it closes. Okay. But yeah, I need a but uh this will not work because these triggers, these um animations, they're still pointing to modal, not modal two. So Let's quickly fix that. To do this, close modal, we're going to duplicate this one to close modal two. I'm going to select both of these, right click, change target, and point it to modal two. Cool. And then I can do the same thing for the open modal. Okay, so let me go here to modal two, display none. Go to modal two, apply the element trigger for open, but I want to duplicate it. All right. And all of these are going to point to modal two. So if I test modal one does that. Oh, that's because let me fix that real quick. That's because they're sharing the same call this one they're sharing the same height so the height of this 
for this first one should be auto and then the second one should be 90. All right, get this modal and there we go. Let's test it. Modal two, but if I click anywhere here, it should have closed. It didn't. So now I'm, did I change this? Modal background. Is this still, ah, there we go. It should be set to two. This one, it should be set to two. This one should be set to two. Okay, let's try it again. Cool. 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 Yeah. Model one, click out. Model two, click out. There we go. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Now, let's do one more. Um, you know, it's just the same thing. But it's always good to do things in threes, right? So this one, let's make it happen down here in the bottom left, just for fun. So let's go copy and paste this one right here. We're going to duplicate it and call it modal three. And we'll set this to flex just so we can see it. And the fix should be bottom left. Let's go ahead and go like that. Okay. Yeah, that looks good right there. Cool. So something like that, right? And then what do we do? What do we need to do? The closed modal BG and this closed modal both need to point to a duplicate animation. So closed modal three, point these to closed modal three. Okay. So as you can see here, this one is connected to closed modal three. The closed modal background right here we don't have to duplicate it. We can just select this animation and we're done. All right. And now lastly, let's go ahead and get the open trigger, right? Actually, let's set this to display none. Now we get this and let's go ahead and make our open trigger. Start animation, duplicate modal three, select all of these change target model three let's preview one two three that easy okay now if you want to reuse these on different pages you can all right just make sure to bring in your models as well as your modal triggers into each page, you know? Like for example, your nav bars are probably probably going to be symbols, right? Now, if you're going to use modals inside of your, uh, with your nav bars or footers or whatever, it's best to either put these inside of the nav or inside of the symbol or make these a symbol themselves, okay? And that way you can just copy and paste these onto other pages. All right. Hope this makes sense. Okay. Thanks for watching this how to web flow. Hopefully you learned something. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. So you'll know whenever I post new videos and also don't forget to check out the overflow.io, a new web flow resource site that I've created just recently. So check that out, subscribe, like, and all do all the things to help support me. And I'll see you in the next video. And as always make the web beautiful together. See ya.